My dear friends, what an awesome gift baptism is. This was the gift that St. Francis Xavier, the greatest missionary in the history of the church after St. Paul brought to the multitudes in Goa, the pearl fishery coast of India, Sri Lanka, Indonesia and Japan and died on the shores of China seeking to bring it there too. By the reports that he sent to St. Ignatius in Rome, he ended up personally baptizing 700,000 Christians. In Travancore on the southern tip of India, he baptized 10,000 in a month until his arm went completely numb. And that right arm is now enshrined in the church of the Jesu in Rome as a witness not only to his heroic perseverance in bringing so many to the Christian life, but also of the importance of baptism for salvation. My dear friends, the baptism of Jesus marks the beginning of his public ministry. In the luminous mysteries, Christ reveals himself to us in many ways. And true to his way, Jesus shows us what we must do to follow him home to God the Father. So Jesus goes to John the Baptist to receive a baptism of repentance. John prophesizes about one greater than he that is to follow him. And when Jesus comes to John to be baptized, John tries to stop him saying, It is I who should be baptized by you. But Jesus tells him, It must be so to fulfill the scriptures. Jesus shows us that we must humbly receive a baptism of repentance in order to follow him. And then he reveals himself and the Holy Trinity to us. We know, as he rises from the water, John proclaims, Behold the Lamb of God, the skies are open, and the voice of God is heard saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And the Holy Spirit in the form of a white dove descends upon Jesus, and the sacrament of baptism is instituted. In his own baptism, my dear friends, Jesus is calling us to follow him. It is a personal invitation to all of us. When he reveals himself to us, he gives us the basis of our faith and the hope of our own salvation. He is showing us how much he loves us by coming personally into our lives. Our own baptism is our initiation into our faith, the beginning. And in our baptism, God reveals himself to us and personally invites us to follow him. We become a part of God's family and the church. And therefore I ask myself, do I really accept the invitation of God to follow him which begins at my own baptism and continues every day of my life? Do I renew my baptism every day by repenting of my sins, by rejecting sin and making a promise to follow Jesus more ardently? I pray that each day I recall my baptism of repentance, my beginning, that I am filled with the Holy Spirit and renewed in my faith in God. And we pray through the intercession of St. Francis Xavier, the great missionary, asking for the grace of wondrous gratitude for the gift of our baptism, the most important day of our life, I'm sure, and for zeal like him to do our part in carrying out the Lord's great commission, going to the whole world, proclaiming the gospel to every creature, in our own way, in our homes, our families, our places of work, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them by our own example of life to carry out everything that Jesus has commanded conscious that Jesus is with us always until the end of time. Let us pray for this gift as we reflect on the first luminous mystery.